This playthrough is rated T for teen. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. I mean, Dr. Soap. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Chroma Squad. In the last episode, we finished Season 1 by defeating the traffic traffic nader and got our new mech outfit. And, uh, well, a couple of things have happened in the studio in between episodes. So, what I've done is... I should have shown this on, on screen, but I decided to do it off screen at the time. As I upgraded my... Uh, my uh, studio to the next step there as you can see there we've got a the mech suit and everything like that we've got a um, we can now upgrade now that we've hit studio 2 now we got some new stuff added to it uh, when we hit level 2 there is one more level to the studio but we'll get to that eventually um, but uh, the big thing that's been added to it is there's a couple of things that have been added to the studio. We've got the uh, vacuum cleaner that's been added, which is, raises our drop rates. We can now buy a green screen, which increases our global audience by 10%. Uh, we got lamps, which I bought one of those up, and it uh, reduces the chance of dodge encountered enemies by 5%. Uh, we got wood crates, which, can, which when we buy will raise the uh, percentages of our mech. And, uh, and now we can upgrade all of our current stuff to the next level so I did that off screen not anything major just showing I was spending stuff uh, we got the chance to customize our mecha unit um, he has multiple different parts I'll go over that when we actually have a mecha level um, and I already did some upgrading on screen off screen but I'll like I said I'll go over that when we actually play the a level that actually has a mecha into it uh, the shop has a whole new set of new gear. I bought some for my people already. Gave themselves some gloves for a little extra damage and some health that we were going to need for his next level. The uh, difficulty ramps up a little bit. I wouldn't say a crazy amount, uh, but just uh, just enough. Might want a little extra health, actually. Uh, let's see. 175 attack. Uh, yeah, I might buy... Let's see. Well, I could either do a couple of health... For everyone, how's everyone's health doing so far? Yeah, main character's fine, but could use some for our lower end people. I'm not gonna have enough money because I only had like three thousand. I spent one, I, I, or three thirty-five hundred or something. I spent thousand upgrading the studio, uh, and then I um, spent the rest on the gear and everything with that. So probably could do. Let's, let's see, won't have enough. Yeah, I won't have enough for all of them, so I'll have to keep you away. Just for the mission up ahead, anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think we're good, actually. We did have a couple of letters. I did accidentally read those off screen. Um, I wasn't paying attention when I recorded. I was like, whoops. But I'll go over them again just to show them off. So one of them was, we are not alone. So the beginning, the first part of it is, Dear Manager of Mighty Inc., your show has been a bright light during the dark night of government lies and misfortune. You're fighting the good fight, letting people know that there's a real threat out there, and they walk among us, controlling mainstream television and pop music. However, I could not help but notice a few missed details and misinterpretations in your fiction. I am a professional in these matters, and for a small sum, I could consult you, consult for you and ensure that you, next episode, are 100% faithful to real extraterrestrial culture, and it costs $80 to say, sure, or we don't believe in aliens. Aliens. But if you pay him, you get this letter. Glad to do business with you. It was a very productive afternoon at Mighty Inc. I hope you have learned more about the nature of these aliens. As a parting gift, I have left a pile of oozing black filth hidden on your kitchen sink. It's 100% legit alien material. Don't let go in near any miniature black holes, okay? And we're to money decreased by a dollar, and we get black goo! We also got a messenger from Jupiter. Uh, hey friends, it's Cicada from Cyber Police. I'm ready to congratulate you, Mighty Inc. You're doing such a great job, and I really hope we can record something together, or together, something together sometime. Chroma Squad is amazing. Oh, I almost forgot. Tomoko sent a huge hug. Her Venus armor that you designed turned out really good, but we crafted it too late for our final season finale, Takeda. Um... Uh, the answers were, uh, you're really an inspiration to us, or we already started making our own armor. But if we chose that they were inspiration to us, he goes, I'm glad to hear it. We need more amazing shows like yours. I'll spread the word about it from everyone I know from the Sentai industry. Take care. And we get 80, uh, 60 fans for that. So very, thank you for that. All right. Um, and after that, one other thing we got new to season two and every season afterwards, as soon as you complete a season, we get a whole new set of abilities for all, all of our members. Um, some will have more than others. So for assist, we get 
we get the uh, Circle of Friendship, which is a really good uh, cooldown ability, which heals all your allies within four tiles of them about 30% of their health. You'll probably end up using this ability the most throughout the most of the game, um, as opposed to the Heal Doken. But I still use the Heal Doken, but Circle Friendship I use more often. Or if you don't want to give them Heal Doken for whatever reason, like if you're playing Super Easy Mode or something, you could give them the Recover, which gains skill regen every, uh, every time you attack. Um, this is an okay ability. Like I said, it's based on the difficulty. If you're playing really easy, this would probably be fine, but since we're not, since we're actually playing challenging, I at least need to be somewhat paying attention to having abilities to heal myself, so we'll give him Circle of Friendship. Uh, the Techie gets uh, either a Sniper Cat, which what that is is you get 8% damage for each tile of distance to your target when you when you attack, so when you shoot with a gun, um, you'll get Sniper Cat. This works for gun and, and rifle. Or you can give him Teleport, which allows you to teleport uh, yourself to any free space seven tiles away, which can be interesting too, but I prefer I prefer a Sniper Cat myself, but Teleport could have its uses if you're wanting to get, like in certain situations, like the final battle, stuff like that. Uh, the lead, he gets three new abilities, unlike his one choice for the rope. He either gets Fan Club, which adds 20% audience for team aerobics and 35 audience for team attack, which in the early game is not bad, but after a while, with all the buffs you buy from the studio and everything like that, you're going to get audience pretty easily from just doing the director stuff. So you're usually going to max out in most cases. There are a few exceptions. So I don't use this one as much. We have the Giraffe's Apprentice, which what that does is adds 30% to Spears, which is a weapon for the lead. I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, so that's not a bad ability as well if you just want to go pure damage. But the weapons are one of those that have a cooldown. So it's one of those abilities that won't be used every turn. It'll be used however long your cooldown is, which is based off skill regen, how fast it can activate. And then finally, we got Vitamins, which gains an extra 15% HP. For the lead, I think that's a pretty good idea. There's some pretty good combos with that. So for now, I'm going to do Vitamins. Uh, that'll help just and have him run up to the front and take uh, aggro damage and all this other stuff. Your assault gets two uh, cool abilities. You either get the uh, square house kick, which cools down every four turns, or depending on how high your skill regen is, but it does 120% damage to all adjacent units. So it's a pretty good way to clear out uh, minions and stuff like that. Or we could do mighty assault, which adds your crit, crit chance to 50%, which also is pretty good. But that I would I usually do that when I've uh, later in the game when I have more options for crit armor for the assault then we can kind of stack them together and, and have higher chances for it to happen more often and that'll be better later on for other builds but for now I like to leave it on square house kick and then uh, scout he gets three new options as well he gets dexterity which raises his dodge by 20% this can help him really late in the game when you get uh, some really good dodge armor and you could actually get the scout to up to like I think the mythical 110 percent dodge which which uh technically you can't dodge everything it technically lowers it but it's based off of how often or like enemies to hit and all this other stuff uh so his the highest his dodge can be is like 90 percent or something like that um overall and so which could work well in conjunction with another skill he gets later on if it didn't actually was bugged but i'll talk about that whenever we get to that later in the game um, but I still like having dodge on just in general. Anyway, you can also get fan club, which is every time he moves, you get three extra audience. So that can build it up pretty quick. So that's not bad to have in the early game to get your audience up as fast as you can. Um, I mean, it's similar to the leads, um, uh, audience, uh, grab. So, um, and then, uh, finally has mobility, which gains his move by two, which is really good. Um, early game, I even though 20% is really good, but right now his dodge is only 20%, and move allows him to like get a lot more options to move around the field. So I prefer this early game. Later on, I will eventually swap to dodge, and that's it for that. And uh, I said crafting. We have new crafting stuff we could craft if you actually want to do armor stuff. And for shopping, like I said, we have the new armor, but I forgot to show weapons. Um, so we got uh, now we got new uh, role specific weapons. So we've got you know, the uh, spear, which in this case is a broom you can buy. It's for the lead only, as Utah saw from his abilities. We got the uh, scout. Uh, we got the dagger, which is for the scout. Um, so spears, their big thing is uh, other than um, they're kind of just a. I don't know what the best way to go with about it, like the way they describe it is. They're usually just like good attack and skill regen weapons for the most part. Um, 
so that way the league can get his abilities a little bit faster although technically your techie and uh, your healer should have the highest skill regen out of all of them so they can get the, like their healing abilities activated constantly but anyway the scout their big thing is that their weapons usually either can add to dodge or crit because usually you want to get in there and to either do some quick damage or dodge to run away but in this case the dagger does uh, critical hits uh, the bow allows you to hit from pretty far away similar to the gun um, usually attack sometimes they'll have skill regen uh, but it keeps it basically keeps your healer away from the fight um, and then there's another weapon let me go over to crafting really quick just show it off and then your assaulter gets the axe there the uh, base the axe just does a ton of damage. it's usually high damage or high attack is what it is so it's like kind of the one shot one kill type of situation so but anyway uh, enough about that let's head on to the actual mission we got three parts of this one today and it looks like our old pal dr soaps making an appearance a real world threat looms over something very dear to our heroes will they stop in a time audience of 4000 location mighty inc we got three missions um if you choose during the first uh season to uh deal uh not give him anything you deal with uh, this mission changes to you deal with his lawyer instead which is kind of funny i think but in this case, we're going to deal with Dr. Soap. And weirdly enough, if you don't choose to do this with Dr. Soap, he randomly appears at the very end of the game, and there's no story context for where he's been this whole time. He's just there. And it's kind of disappointing, really, from a story aspect, even though this game's supposed to be silly and all this, but the continuity of the whole, you know, when you beat the prologue and the, or the season, the director's like, ha-ha, I saw what they've got. I'm going to get it. And yet, if you don't choose the right decision, you never find out what happens with that. It's just kind of dumped, you know, like a bad script or something like that. But anyway... New season. What's what about we make our episodes more dramatic? We should make them even more realistic. And with more cake. Don't worry, folks. Here's the new script. Today was supposed to be a standard day in their hero lives, but with great power comes great responsibility. I read it on a Cracker Jack box. I'm pretty sure I've heard that line in a movie. Let the narrator do the talking, Flashy. Get in position. What would our hero TV show without any problems to be solved? Monsters appear because of reasons. Eh, hey, pop down Mount Fuji there. It looks like they're after us. Phew, we found you. The whole crew is about to arrive here, Chromus Squad. Then we know where to run. I was pretty sure I was supposed to fall to my way here. Uh oh, they're all over the place. Even more, today is going to be a good day. Is it a good day to die? Uh, now it's time! Our heroes must survive the attack with these minions that came out of nowhere. Wait a, uh, wait a second. Where's the real-time chroma key special effect? I plan to add some computer effects to the scene later on. But anyway, we got to keep all our heroes standing and defeat 10 enemies. This is one of, uh, one of the many um, uh, survive encounters. So we had to survive 8 turns and defeat 10 enemies and keep all the heroes standing. Should be able to do this pretty easy because we're still fighting weak enemies. We've got weak bird cumblers, nutcrackers, and eventually a shield person will appear as well depending on how many people you kill. This is one of those you almost don't want to kill too many people because if you kill a lot of people, it's not like one or two people spawn, like almost everyone you killed will spawn. So you just kind of have to like, kind of toss up like how, you know, how many people do you want to take out in one turn, so. But anyway, let's see. Um, I think we could have those three take on the... Uh, take out those... Uh, these guys here. Oh yeah, we could chromatize, but I usually like waiting a couple turns before I do that, since uh, that way it's an auto-heal. That might have been a bit overkill, but that's fine. Oh, maybe... Oh, wait, no, that's why I didn't do it, because I couldn't reset again. I'm going to try to be a bit more efficient with my moves and not talk about what I'm doing, because eventually this game will get longer and longer and longer, and like most strategy games, if you talk too much about what you're going to do instead of just doing it, it's going to really drag out the fights, you know, kind of like... I, I, I'm always bad about doing that. Like, I always feel like I have to communicate every single little thing I'm doing, but I realize, you know, at some point, I just got to just do it, you know what I mean? Just do the do, man. Okay, reach over there. Uh, I mean, I could, uh... Oh, wait, no, I don't have, uh... I haven't acrobatized yet, so I can't, uh, do that. Oh, well, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, let's have you... Maybe I might do enough damage. Okay, good. We're 
because I bought some of the, the gloves I bought had a little bit of extra attack, so we, we were able to do just enough damage. Yeah, as long as you defeat a couple of guys every turn, you should be fine, so. Here they come. They will eventually uh, here pretty soon. As soon as we this turns up, they'll spawn like a ton of dudes. So, ow! Oh, here we go. I was like, it was either this turn or next turn they're gonna spawn because I killed enough dudes. So, uh, yeah, since we were able to kill, I can just now that I know these two guys can finish them off. So. I meant to move her, but I, I clicked it too fast, so. But we're not gonna, I mean, these guys aren't super strong anyway, so. Uh, they will eventually, we will eventually get, um, actually I think it's even in the same episode, we'll get uh, upgraded enemies. So it goes to the next step. Uh, I forgot the names of each of the steps, but yeah, there is a point where the enemies can only get so strong even in uh, New Game Plus mode. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of it. Yeah, with that plus two, man, he's, that guy's moving all over the place. Uh, well, maybe I should chromatize. We have taken a bit of damage. Well, let me uh, use you guys and then we'll chromatize. I like chromatizing when about half the turns have come by. So that way we only have to do. And after that we have all our new abilities anyway too, so. Uh, oh, they're close enough to go. I can show off a spin kick. Square house kick! Just had to put Chun Li and 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 pop her in and you know we got ourselves a gold deal there. Oh, yeah, we did those, those guys. Yeah, let's you go last one. Why not? Why not? Yeah, with your plus two move, you're all over the place, uh, Scout. You don't punch me. I don't care for your punches. You should go home now. Keep popping out of the same area. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I should be able to hit them if I... If I move here, I would. I just have to be careful about putting her, like, out in the open, you know what I mean? Or right in front of all these guys. Otherwise, they'll all target her, so... So, yeah, let's go here. Stun you guys. Or at least a couple of you so I can know. Nah. Yeah, let's just use a sword on you. This one's a pretty straightforward fight. Nothing. There's really not much I can really add to it uh, about like, what's going on and all that. So. Yeah, just make sure not to, obviously, get, you know, put your weak characters out in front so they all bombard them. Because usually the AI, unless it's on, like, heroic mode, will usually attack, like, the closest character to them. Usually. It really kind of depends, but... But that's the rule of thumb I've gotten from it. Let's see. Yeah, just keep finishing them off, I guess. <coughs> I said really not much I can really add to it. We're doing enough damage to these guys. Too bad they just spawn like almost immediately. Though. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I want to heal. This could always heal Doken or someone else. Heal Doken! Heal Doken! Could I reach you with the gun? I think so, yeah. Usually, want to try and use your. Oh, yeah, you saw a Sniper Cat to add like plus 26 damage to him because of how far away we were from the target, so. Yeah, usually, you want to try and get the techie high skill regen and then use their gun like every other turn if you can, so that way they can get more skill regen so they can get their abilities faster and faster, so. That was barely to defeat him. At this point, I'm not worried about. It. Since I've already killed enough guys, I can just kind of just mess around for the final round, so. Just 
trying to make it go as fast as I can. Alright, yeah, final turn, and we'll uh, go on to the next round of this episode. Usually the survive encounters aren't too bad. They're, I think they're supposed to be like one, maybe one or two missions. I remember having a little bit of trouble on a challenging, but... Uh, what is this? Why do they attack us? Because you're the heroes? Since we smashed that huge monster a few days ago, they're probably not happy about that. Is that in the script? We should visit Cerebro to know what's going on. Now let's see what the old, old man brain has to say. Arriving at Cerebro's chambers! Chroma Squad, you've arrived just in time. Well, what is happening in here? Hello, my name is Cerebro. This is an example message. Didn't you say this to that dad to us the first time we met him? What? Someone bumped into Cerebro and is messing with this console. Sorry, I accidentally clicked that part too fast. Wait a minute. What are you doing here, Dr. Soap? Type the words in my back display and I'll just text to speech them. I've come with a great offer for you, my old friends. What about you give me Cerebro instead of paying the tributes? No way, Cerebro isn't up for trade. We'll give you the money as we discussed. Are our heroes ready for such a problem to face? Such a problem to face. Well, well, then my goons will take Cerebro by force. Uh-oh, we got new updated putties. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe though, they look just like putties. Back in a few, the thing is bigger than I expected. I'll need a bigger car. It's bigger than a bread basket. Did, did you just Naruto run? Anyway, we gotta defeat four enemies in the same turn and win in five turns. Yeah, that's easy to do. The problem is, like, uh, I'm gonna need to be kind of careful. What is your... Probably do it. There's one way, easy way to go, like, get all these guys stuck together. So, um, okay, so anyway, uh, fellows, 186 HP. They got 35 to 45 attack. And they got zero dodge and zero counter. And they've also armored. What that means is that they have high defense, so you need a team attack and vulnerability skills are recommended. So vulnerability, like stunning pose, or uh, there's some other stuff we can do, but um, so we want a team attack and we get some extra. So let's get, let's get some damage on without killing them. Well, because we want to kill four at once, you know. And usually if we just double attack with a couple of dudes, we can do it, so. Okay, now let's get you over here. And there's a reason I want to do this. Now this can be very risky, so this is either, you know, this might be high risk and no reward, so we'll see what happens. And you're probably thinking, you probably already have an idea of what I'm gonna be doing, so. As long as I don't get juggled too much. Okay, I didn't think I was in a super bad position for juggling, so. Ooh, that's not good actually, I got crit. Well, luckily, only uh, not all of them attacked me. I did want them to attack me. I wanted them to surround me, basically, is what happened. But I got a crit on, or they crit me, so that's kind of bad. But we should be still be fine. Yeah. Right, yeah, we want a spinning square house kick him, so. And that'll do a ton of damage to them. And then, I don't know. We should be able to finish them off anyway, but. Let's see if I can get. Should be fine as long as yeah, as long as we kill everyone there. So let me do that, and then this. I should yeah, they'll get a couple of dudes. Let's see. Okay, yeah, let's uh, stun them. That was uh, plenty of guys. If not, I have another chance to do it, so. Yeah, my, the original plan was to have uh, not get crit and have all of them, uh, five of them attack me, so that was a good chance to hit them all, but no, I didn't. Okay, I didn't. So that plan failed. Um, usually it would work, but in this case, I just got a bit unlucky, so. Now, let's see. Yeah, not enough damage going on here, so 
Let's see, could I? You took too much damage, so. Yeah, let's use Heal Doken. Or not Heal Doken, Circle of Friendship. Because even if I kill you two, I'm still not going to be able to get enough damage from you three. So. Okay, let's. Um, let's get some damage on you guys. Be able to finish you off. Yeah, my so I get a bit unlucky with that crit, and then just uh just the placement of enemies did not work in my favor. So yeah, that's fine. Sometimes it's just just how it is. Sometimes variables will affect your what's going on. Okay, so I got lucky there. I didn't. I basically don't want to crit the guys who are actually weak on HP. Or okay, we okay. I think we still have this. Um. Those guys should be easy to finish off. So I just need... I think, I think a gun should be able to finish off you. As long as I was a certain distance away. Okay, yeah, we got this. It would have been a little bit easier if I had a... Yeah, it would have been a little bit easier if I had gotten it the first turn, but this is, this is fine. Boom. There we go. Yep, we're good. It just didn't work out exactly like I wanted to, but that makes it more interesting. You know? Let's just uh, finish him off, or at least get close. There we go. All right, we did it. Yeah, I was like, got a bit unlucky, but that's fine. All right, final round. I'm back. Wait, what happened? Where are all my fellows? No one's taking anything from our. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no one's taking anything from our studio, Doctor Soup. I almost forgot my accents. Why are you being so senseless? Think about what you're doing. Think of the children. <laughs> I have orders, and I need to fulfill my boss's needs. R five D four hundred one. I need more audience, and I will do anything I can. Bosses, I thought you were your own boss in your own studio. Beep, beep, waiting for input. Thanks, Cerebro. Enough, I'm taking Cerebro myself. Help me, goons. Who's that at the door? Hired goons. Hired goons? Ah. But anyway, you gotta defeat the boss monster with a finishing move and defeat the boss monster before defeating all the minions. Now all that means is we just have to make sure one's alive by the time uh, we're done with this fight. This fight can be a little bit difficult because of the director. He has an ability where he he has two things he can do. Well, obviously most bosses can do two things. Um, he can either punch you, which hits hits all your allies. So I don't know if it's based off of how many squares you are away from him. From what I've seen, he always hits all of us no matter what. Um, I mean, maybe you're on the other side of the map. He d can't hit you. Like maybe it's within like five squares or something like that. He can also heal himself for like 140 damage or something like that. Or I think it's based off where he is. I think it's like 20% of his HP heals or something like that. And he has to it doesn't auto do it. He has to choose to do it. But anyway, he's uh he's got boss uh, resistances. He's got 28 to 42 attack, dodge at 20%, and counter at 50%. Um, so there's a couple ways you could do. You could just try to just straight up attack him. Finish him off as quick as you can. Like do it just like a ton of damage back to back, or weaken most of the minions until like there's one left. Um, I prefer weaken the minions because they can add to the damage. And Dutch Soap already does an okay amount of damage to us already, so I'd rather get rid of these guys as fast as I can. So okay, let us. And we'll have to take advantage of uh, um, our healer's ability to. Uh, Heal us via teamwork. Let's see. Just trying to think of what I want to have. Yeah, the problem is that you, uh, also you kind of want to utilize um, these uh, blocking spaces here. Let's see. Let's get. Okay, let's do.
That should be enough to finish one guy off, so. Yeah, nice. Ow. I don't know why I always say that every time I get punched. I mean, I would say that in real life, yes. What if I did? Uh, there. Oh, he didn't even do anything. Huh. Okay. That's it. Usually he does something. That was odd. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, it might be a good idea to stun, stun him. Hmm. Let's see. This would be a good chance to do, time to do uh, um, our, our multi ability. So, square house kick. Too bad they got moved all over the place, but that's fine. And so it's one of those things where it's just like just not enough damage, you know what I mean? Ooh, we got a new item. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's probably better to have you do sword there. Enough to finish him off. Yeah, we can all the enemies until like, there's one left, and hopefully you don't get a couple of good counters on the enemy. Okay, now you're moving. Yeah, see, there's that multi attack. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not really sure how how that works in terms of like um like when he or like what area he actually affects when he does that. So. I couldn't really tell you. Eh, let's go ahead and just sword you. Finish you off. Good, uh... Well, I was hoping to do this, but I wouldn't be able to really... Well, I could, but... Yeah. They use uh, heal so we can heal heal him for since he got taken that much damage was done to him, so Okay, now we just need to talk mess with Dr. Soap and we've got this. As long as you don't do nah, you did it multiple times. Dang it. Yeah, there's not much I can really do about that. Like uh, you know, like how do you figure out like when um Okay, I need to figure out Oh, you're not even going to be close to anyone. Oh, did I already... What is... You know what's stunning pose you? Let's see, where can you move? There? Okay. I'm trying to... See, he does like 30... Hits per turn. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do a healing circle. Yeah, I'll do a healing circle. I was thinking about trying to do teamwork, but he did too much damage to my guys back to back too. On that, so yeah, I'm trying to get like a bunch of damage in back to back, so. Oh, he also got that uh, heal. And when I hit him, he uh, his H his attack went up. He got enraged. Okay, I need to move you like over. Okay, let's see. Let's have you over here. Let's see. I need. He does too much damage. That's the problem. I might have to heal Doke and you. But you also took a bit of damage too. If I can get a teamwork going on to all my guys. So if I teamwork, I hit you. Yeah, if I move him there, that should work. So I want to teamwork with you so we can get a decent amount of dam uh, heal from you guys. Forgot if you had your weapon available. Let's see. Okay, he does. Let's 
let's hit with three guys with weapons. That should be enough to do at least a decent amount of damage. That way I'm not actually finishing him off yet. That way if he heals, he doesn't... Um, See, that should be enough. Okay. Ugh. That, not good, actually. He moved my guys way too far away. Um, let's see. Actually, I do have that rope. Let me see if I've got enough movement to do what I need to do. So, Because I need to move... I need to utilize you first, so... Okay. If I can, can I move? Yeah, you're good. You're good. Um, he moves him there. Mm. That might not work. Let's see what happens when I move use Eagle Lasso. Oh, okay. That actually works. I wasn't sure if that would actually work in my favor, so... Okay, let's finish this guy off and then finish the last dude. Yeah, I was really trying to figure out... Because sometimes I'm not very good at figuring out like when, where the Lasso will move a character to. I'm really bad about figuring that part out. Alright. Finish him! Chroma power! Because on challenging, I do actually have to semi-pay attention during certain fights, so... So... Yeah, we did it. Alright. You can technically, if you, like, just fight the boss and beat him, you could... But it's kind of risky having, like, all those guys attacking you. You just fight him. So you might get knocked out way too fast. So that's a toss-up on waiting to do it later or not. So I'm off to my studio. This is over. We'll meet again soon. Not soon, not ever. I hope... Uh, or not soon, not ever. I hope we never meet again. Perhaps we'll see him in the next movie, The Search for More Money. That was crazy. I'm glad it's over. Anyway, that's it for that's it for the return of Dr. Soap. Will he return again? Who knows? But we got a bunch of items there. Uh, decent amount of money. As you can see, the money is flowing this time. The spice must flow. Got twelve uh, tw $2,120 and 200 fans. Uh, the finishing move is very impressive for indie series. Finally, season premiere. I was joining Chroma Squad up to the point that good wins in the end. At least the episode had some incredible stunt action. Silver lining. So, okay, well. We got, we still got the director awards or whatever. All right, well, we made a decent showing of season two, but there's so many more episodes to go. And in the next episode of Chroma Squad, we'll be fighting that, whatever that is. I think it's evil SpongeBob SquarePants. Get ready to go under what, you know, what lies under the ocean. And porous is he, SpongeBob SquarePants. But find out next time in the next episode of Chroma Squad. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.